a controversial prophet and the former founder of Global Fire Ministries, Jeff Jansen, has passed away at the age of 60. It has been a rough 14 months, to say the least, for Jeff and his family. We'll get into all the details of this, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, you can try and hit that like button for me. Also, very important, you share the video, hit the bell, subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. If you guys could donate here to the ministry, help support what I do. See more information in the description for that. So, Jeff Jansen, problems started here back in May of 2021. And I had done a video about this at the time to talk about the fact that Jeff Jansen had been basically removed disqualified from Global Fire Ministries. Uh, this is a ministry that he founded with his wife, Jan, and, and they even uh, had formed the Global Fire Church out of his well 20 years ago. However, uh, Jansen started getting himself into some trouble, started going off the rails a little bit at this time. And he had announced in May of 2021 that he was in fact leaving his wife to, quote, pursue his own desires. And, you know, I talked about at the time how, you know, what a horrible statement that was to just up and leave like that, to just go, you know, say he was done. And he, and he somehow thought that it would be okay for him to remain, you know, leading Global Fire Ministries going forward. It's based there in Tennessee. And, you know, there was even a period there in June, even after he had been disqualified already from the ministry, that he claimed that he was still in control, that he was still a part of Global Fire. And those that were, you know, running Global Fire Ministries had to repudiate that and say, no, he's not in charge. He is not a part of this anymore. He is disqualified because he even then had shown no willingness to repent or to reconcile with his wife, his children, nothing like that at all. Wanted to completely go his own way. Now, Jansen had been known for putting out some crazy prophecies out there. A lot of them never came true. You know, false prophet alert here. You know, the Bible says that we would see those arrive, arise here in the last days. And according even to court documents... Uh, the divorce case with him and his wife, Jan, was actually uh, still pending, uh, even at the time of his death. Now, the news came out that Jansen had died unexpectedly on Tuesday, August 9th. Uh, the family has not released the cause yet of what it was that uh, Jansen, you know, had suffered with, what he was going through at all, but uh, many tributes have been pouring in uh, the children. Uh, Jansen's children have uh, chimed in on this as well uh, about their father and how much they miss him. Uh, you know, it was well known that Jansen had also struggles with alcohol and had been driving under the influence many times before in the past. And no doubt that was also uh, one of the reasons that he was let go from Global Fire Ministries you know, because of that. Uh, we also learned here that Jansen was arrested back on July 29th, 2021 for theft of property that ranged anywhere between ten dollars to $60,000. He was released on a $20,000 bond that same day uh, and actually was scheduled here for a plea deal uh, in the next month or so. Now, this allegedly happened on April 30th, 2021, which led to the July 29th, uh, 2021 arrest of Jansen. So, you know, this just continued to spiral for him all of last year. And fast forward to early part of 2022, Jansen started a brand new ministry group, Jeff Jansen Ministries International. He also had started a new church, Father's House 360 that he was involved with. So this guy kept going and you know, you know, I've talked about this a lot. You guys know this and watch me consistently. 
oftentimes when you see cases like this of either pastors or ministry leaders, if they are caught up in any sort of a scandal, if they are disqualified from ministry in any way, instead of staying away, getting themselves right, getting themselves health, healthy, renewing their mind spiritually, really cleansing their relationship you know, with Christ and getting themselves right there, they go right back into ministry again because they think that there's nothing wrong with them. They think that they're in the right. They could just you know, continue on here uh, and all of this can just go unnoticed. But it's, it's not the case. And it, it's a pattern that now has unfortunately led uh, to the death of Jeff Jansen. And, you know, and we'll find out what the actual cause of death here. And people are going to speculate. And I, I have no, honestly, I have no idea. Um, also, people are going to speculate on whether or not Jansen, you know, is in heaven today. Uh, you know, at the time of his death, I'm not sure where he was with Christ. If he had, you know, repented. You know, at the time, the ministry last year said he had not shown any signs of repentance at all. You know, uh, getting himself arrested. I mean, things continue to go downhill for him. I don't know if he truly, you know, to make a statement when he did last year and say that, you know, I want to pursue my own desires. Uh, and to leave your family behind and go and do that, you know, it's not sounding like someone that wants to live a Christ-centered life. But things could have changed, you know, in, in the final months leading up here to his uh, to his untimely death. And only him and, you know, God know that for sure. Um, regardless of the situation and, you know, how sad it is really on all fronts, you know, uh, pray for his family. Pray for the entire Jansen family. Uh, that God would comfort them all at this time. Uh, you know, Global Fire Church, the church that he uh, helped to start, has since renamed. Uh, they got rid of the global name as, you know, because associated with the Jansons and, and the ministry when they started it. So it's now just known as the Fire Church. But they released a statement on Jansen's death as well, uh, saying how saddened they were to hear about the news. And they extended their prayers out. To the family as well, which I thought that was nice of them to do, you know, seeing though everything that had happened uh, with them and, and the falling out and everything that occurred there. But again, keep the family in your prayer uh, because it's got to be devastating, you know, for the kids to lose their father, despite how the relationship may have been with them. And again, we don't know. Um, and even, you know, his wife, they were going through divorce behind the scenes you know, what was going on? You know, was there a chance for reconciliation? Maybe, you know, we don't know, but you know, this is someone in his wife that had started this ministry with him and had children with him, had a family. I mean, no doubt they had to have had good time. So this has got to be extremely hard for her, despite all the hardship that she most likely, I mean, we know uh, she had to endure uh, with the falling out with her husband. So a lot of broken hearts. Jesus can heal those, so pray that he does. And I'll put some more information on this in the description for you. Um, this also leads me to this. You know, you never know when your last day on this earth is going to be. You, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Jesus when it happens. And so if you're someone watching right now and you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But here's the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but turn from lifestyles, habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, to wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you go before the Lord. You humbly ask him that. He'll wash that sin away. But invite him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. 
you will become a new creation in Christ Jesus. He will direct your paths from that forward. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, guys, I'll have more on this for you down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Prayers going out to the entire Jansen family. God will bless you all at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.